All right, so let's start coding. We're gonna access this link just like yesterday and we're gonna create a new project. Today, we're going to be using possibly the tabs we used yesterday, but we're going to primarily focus on the new skills we learned today, which are sensors, loops, and logic. While we go, we're going to give some basic programs as well. So let's go through these three tabs. First up, we have sensors. And as you can see, all of the mini sections within this tab are the sensors that we talked about earlier in the presentation. However, a pattern that I've noticed between all of these sensors is that they have three similar blocks in general, which we're going to go over in this camp. First, we have the on touched press, and it's the same on whatever sensor and whenever it's activated from outside forces the pause until that sensor is activated and this condition statement that we saw in the while loops and in the if and if else statements. So first we'll just start with the touch sensor and do on touch pressed. So this is basically saying when that touch sensor is activated it'll do this action. So you can see a touch sensor just popped up right here in the corner because it's in the port number one so it's popped up in port one. And we'll just say when that touch sensor is pressed, when something is pushing on it, the robot will show an angry mood. So let's run that program. When nothing is pressing the touch sensor, when my mouse is not touching it, nothing's happening. However, when I touch Activate. the touch sensor, or press on it, the angry mood shows up. So that only performs that specific action. It only tells you what's going on with the sensor. It doesn't relate to the whole program. It just says that when that sensor is activated, it'll do this. So next, we're going to go into the pause until touch, which is interchangeable or it happens with all the other sensors as well. So let's say when the program starts, the program will pause until touch is pressed. So normally this is used to hold off on a program that comes after the pause. So you might say that the whole screen is going to be blank, but in the minute this is touched, it's going to do something else. And it's kind of similar to the, to the whole thing with the on touch press but this is related to the whole program. This will happen immediately once the program starts. So you can put things before this, it could move around and then it'll pause until this is pressed. So it goes, this one goes, the on start goes in order while this one is specifically for the sensor itself, the on touch pressed. So we'll say on start, we are going to pause until that touch sensor is pressed and then we'll show a sleeping mood. So we are going to start and you can see the screen is blank, nothing is happening. And then the minute I touch the program runs, it does its own activate. Thing. So right here is a common coding error. When this is here, it still runs. So the program with it on with the touch sensor being pressed is malfunctioning. So this is a common error. You must delete this block if you want to do anything with this one on start because otherwise it'll get confused. So we're gonna delete that and now we're going to rerun it. So nothing's showing up and then I touch it, it's sleeping. So now that program works. And I just drag it into this bar to delete the, the, ex the excess blocks. So now what we remember is these condition statements. So let's try a different sensor. These condition statements we remember paired with while loops and they paired with the logic statement. So let's go into logic statements. First, there's the if logic statements. So let's put it in here on start. And remember this diamond, this diamond right here is that condition statement and we can change that with other diamonds. So to do that, you highlight over, and when that turns white, you let go. So this program is basically saying, on start, when the robot starts, and only when it starts, if that color sensor is detected, 
then it will we'll just do a mood again Oops. it'll show mood now this is also a common error this is basically saying only when the robot starts if the color sensor is detecting blue then you show that mood however most programs unless you want it to only do that most programs will specify that forever if the blue is detected it'll do something so this will not go in on start but this will go in our loop our forever loop meaning that this program in the forever loop will keep on running infinite times until your computer dies or until if this color is detected then it'll do the other thing otherwise it'll keep on circulating and keep on checking keep on going back to the beginning and checking is that color blue nope we're going back through is that color blue nope and it keeps on going until it's blue so now let's start it we can see a color sensor popped up with the color menu here so let's try red nothing happened because blue is not detected let's try green nope nothing happened blue. the minute i press blue it made the it did the function because blue was detected so that is a forever loop and that is an if statement. Now we're gonna try an if else statement. This is a little more complicated because there's more components, but let's try it. So now, first we have to fix this condition because we're not looking at true here. We wanna use our sensors because that's what we learned today. So let's use this touch sensor. I'm using mostly the touch and the color sensors because I found that in FLL, the most commonly used sensors that my team at least used was touch and color because they were the most easy and reliable to program during competition, but you can use whatever you want when you're coding. I prefer to use those two. So if touch is pressed and we're using forever because you want it to keep on circulating, if touch is pressed, then we'll show a mood and let's show an angry mood if that touch is not pressed so it's while it circulates if this happens and it's going to do this but if that doesn't happen then it's forever going to show a sleeping mood uh, actually let's do a different mood it's going to show the hard eyes love mood okay so this program right here is saying forever infinitely times when that program is going through going from start to finish if that it recognizes that the touch sensor is pressed then it'll show an angry mood but if it doesn't find that then it's going to show the love mood so let's run that you can see it starts off with the love mood because the touch sensor hasn't been pressed and the minute i press the touch sensor activate it shows it shows the angry mood but touch sensor was different you saw that it activated the angry mood for a second but then went straight back to the love why is that touch sensors are special because they only activate as long as they are pushed into place so as long as you are holding that touch sensor down with your mouse then it'll show the angry mood but the minute you let go it's going to show the love mood because it's only activating this angry mood when that touch sensor is pressed itself. So we've been through all the conditionals, we've been through sensors. Now we're going to use a while loop. So this is our while loop right here. And again, you're gonna put it in the forever loop because it's gonna keep on circulating through. It's not just starting in the beginning. You normally use on start when you are doing simple motor functions like going forward, backwards, or showing a quick face. But you normally use the forever loops when you are doing an if or an if else statement where it constantly has to check if that condition is true or not, or if it's happening or not. So anything with the condition you normally put in a forever loop because it constantly has to check the state of that condition, meaning that it constantly has to check if that condition is actually happening. So let's use color again. And like we said, you drag it over. So while means 
as long as it's detecting blue, we'll do motors this time. It's going to run large motor A at 50%. And remember, you can extend that. You can extend the quantities of it. Um, but let's, let's leave that. We're just going to leave it at this. It's going to run large motor A at 50%. So it's going to say, while this is happening, it's going to do this. But the minute this stops happening, it'll stop. So let's try it. It's not doing anything because the color sensor hasn't detected blue. It hasn't detected blue. It's on red right now, but red is not blue. The minute it detects blue, this, this large motor has started running. And the minute it stops, it stops running or it slows down. So that is a while loop. And the minute it stopped detecting this, it started slowing down and it'll eventually stop. So that's all for this demonstration. Watch the next video to find out your challenge question.